Hey, it's Mike with uh, ProductionCrate.com. Today we're gonna talk about sculpting skin. A couple things I've done for the store in the past are this alien here. Let's make it hard for Nico to track later in post. <laughs> and also this shark dude. And then this video of a uh, digital double of uh, one of our friends, Alex, from a few months ago. In that video, I showed you guys how to kind of capture a digital double. And in that video, we used some kind of hard to get assets for making detailed skin. So I thought I'd show you guys a simpler way to do it that's almost just as good using just what comes with ZBrush. And these techniques could even transfer over to Blender. But let me give you guys a quick tour of where we are in the project. We captured our buddy Johnny here. We have a pretty rough scan. This is what it looks like when you scan with a single camera on a turntable. So I've already gone through and sculpted away some of the noise, fixed some anatomy. All that stuff can be found in that previous video. So I'm at the phase where I want to add some skin details. So we got a nice anatomy fix, a nice uh, smooth detail, and it looks pretty much like him, especially with the texture on. But when we do the video, we need that really nice um, specular contribution to the skin where the skin pores are popping out. Luckily, he's got some pretty clear skin and pretty smooth skin. Thanks, Johnny, for not being old and wrinkly. <laughs> but he does have a little bit of bumps that we all have. So what's really important to do before you start spraying on detail is to go in and capture these big creases here that we all have. Um, so I'll do a couple of those really quick. So in whatever program you're using, you wanna get a nice sharp brush. I like to use the Damien Standard if I'm in ZBrush. Even for someone with really nice, smooth, clear skin, you wanna, you wanna dig a little deeper than you think you might need. You can always smooth it out. You can always turn down the intensity of your normal map at the end. So it's better to have too much depth and sharpness and noise than to have too little, because then you just gotta go back and do it. Now at this point, if you followed along with our previous video where we did uh, a sculpt of our friend Alex, uh, I used some maps you could find online. They're kind of expensive. They're from the Texturing XYZ website. But let me show you how you can get a similar effect without having to buy any assets like that. So what you wanna do in ZBrush specifically here, I'm gonna spray on just an even amount of noise all over his face. And then we can use a certain special smooth brush to smooth it just in one direction or the other. Let me show you a quick example. You wanna work with layers. So I'm gonna add a quick layer. So I'll call this one skin tension. What I need to do is just sort of spray on noise. So it can be any kind of noise you want. Um, right now I'm using this one. Sometimes I like to use this dot, but we're not done yet. If I switch to my brushes category, I can change the mode of my, my smoothing brush. So I'm gonna go to smooth, and there's one here called smooth directional. And now when I hold down shift for smoothing, you can see it says smooth directional right there. What this does is it'll, it'll smooth like normal, but only in the direction you're moving your mouse. So if I go kind of in every direction, it just smooths away the detail. But if I go just in one direction, I can see it leaves that sort of tension behind. So you can see there's some pulling and some tension in the skin. Now that I've got that brush set up, I like to focus on one area, like here just in the eye, or maybe just on these lips, and just add a bunch of noise, and then try to smooth so that we have the tension of these wrinkles going in whatever direction they're, they're going in our reference. Oh, actually, you know what? One more thing, let's turn on a morph target. The morph target is gonna allow us to erase detail if we overspill outside of the red part of the lips. Instead of having to smooth away where we overspilled or having to pre-mask it, we can turn on a morph target and just erase it. So here on the morph target palette, I'm just gonna hit store MT, store morph target. So now I can just spray and I don't really worry about going outside the boundary of the lips. It's gonna look a little bit too noisy compared to your texture, but remember, we're gonna smooth it out. Okay, let's go switch to our morph brush so we can clean up the edge. And you can see it's not smoothing, it's actually erasing what I did. Going back in time to when I pressed that morph target button button. So here on the morph target palette, I'm just gonna hit store MT, store morph target. So now I've got that noise on his lips. And now I can just sort of smooth, but make sure I go just in that direction to sort of soften it up so it doesn't look so intense. And if you look at this reference, we also have wrinkles going perpendicular to those lines. So I'll do a few of those too. And now if you want to, if there's any, any areas that you think look good, you can go back to your really sharp cutting brush and I can just draw in the wrinkles that stand out to me. Let's do something similar on the, on the eyes really quick. So I'm gonna look at my reference again. So what I'm seeing here is tension that flows this way in these tiny little micro details on the face. And then we also have some bumps. So I'm gonna try to not smooth the bumps as much. Jump back into my standard brush. I'm gonna change my alpha this time to just a very sharp little dot, looks like that. I think I'm gonna do two passes at this. I'm gonna do the tension, the tension lines, and then the bumps afterwards. So let's go cut in, pushing inward with this brush. Let's just do the lower eyelid here. And then if I hold down shift, I have my smooth directional. And as long as I smooth just in the direction that his skin is being pulled, 
it's gonna start to turn in those, into those microsurface wrinkles that we all have on our faces. Even a newborn baby has microsurface to the skin, so you don't wanna neglect this phase if you're trying to do realistic skin textures. And then just like before, if I wanted to, I could go in and follow some of these lines that stick out and sort of do all these little micro creases. I'm gonna do one more quick pass, only this time instead of bumping in with my noise, I'm gonna bump outward to create these bumps, but I'm still gonna smooth them directionally. Now, if you get to a point where you're done, you've done the whole face, but it's not in intense enough, then we can actually turn up the intensity of our layer. Because we've been sculpting on a layer, I can go here and I can type in two, it might be too much, but it'll, it'll show you what I mean. Type in two and we've just doubled the intensity of that layer. We also have the ability to selectively intensify areas using contrast. So if I press C, there's a contrast target and contrast delta. I would use target if you've never used it before because it's a little bit more subtle. Let's say I want to increase just the depth of these wrinkles here, but not really this area. This will just increase the contrast of that area. So I can really get in there and make them look a little crazy. This can work on any type of skin. You could do rhino skin, you could do monster skin, but if we're focusing on human faces, it's really important that you find good reference for the different types of pores that we have all over our face. So the tip of the nose tends to have bigger, deeper, more circular pores. And then same thing with this region right here. It just takes some experience and some observational skills. Look really close at your friend's face when they're trying to talk to you. That's what I do. So if you're really observant, you can make pretty realistic skin textures without buying any expensive assets from online. Hopefully that helps you guys out uh, with your human digital doubles. In the future, we're gonna keep going with this character. We wanna show you guys how to do hair, uh, facial expressions, including all the wrinkles and how it, how it changes when they make different expressions. Anything else you guys wanna know, make sure to leave a comment. And uh, yeah, make it awesome.